Yes. Yes. Indeed. King Loghain will not suffer the delay of his appointed messenger. Vieta! This land is held in trust for the sovereign Dwarven kings. I cannot allow entry at this time. King Loghain demands the allegiance of the Desher, or Lords, or whatever you call them in your assembly. I am his appointed messenger. I don't care if you're the King's Wiper. Orzammar will have none but its own until our throne is settled. Who doesn't? If I don't get in, no one should. Orzammar has no king. Endrin I do can return to the stone not three weeks ago, sick over the loss of his sons. The assembly has gone through a dozen votes without agreeing on a successor. If it is not settled soon, we risk a civil war. The Wardens killed King Caelan and nearly doomed Ferelden. They're sworn enemies of King Loghain. Well, that is the royal seal. That means only the Assembly is authorized to address it. Grey Warden, you may pass. You're letting in a traitor? And a foreigner? In the name of King Loghain, I demand that you execute this stain on the honor of Ferelden! You... you'll hear of this. King Loghain will see you quartered. You are free to enter Orzammar, Grey Warden. Though I don't know what help you will find.
trust Vala, Warden. Your arrival is a mixed blessing. We prefer that outsiders not witness our infighting, but your presence will be tolerated. Those statues are dwarven paragons, if I remember right. The best of their ancestors. Imagine if all of those were golems. Do you think there are miniatures of these in the city? I would love to have some on my mantle. Now that's a thing of beauty, daughter. If you work hard like Branka, all Orzammar will know your name. Mother, I don't want to be like her. She... Don't say that. Not to me, not to anyone. Now get back to the forge. I want to see more details. Yes, Mother. It meaning me. Am I in it now too? It I is begun. Honored. For one who professes to be a warrior, I find it remarkably weak-willed and indecisive. Uh, thank you? It also likes to hide its many weaknesses behind a veil of jocularity. For a statue, you know a lot of big words. Is there a reason it enjoys following others so much? Especially when it is in a position to lead. Have you ever been responsible for someone else's life? Or a lot of other lives? Or an entire nation? Of course not. Then shut up. I will remember this moment when the birds come. I shall do it. Show respect, Surfacer. You're in the Hall of Heroes, home to the best of us. Paragons, dwarves who achieve such greatness, they're considered ancestors even if they yet walk among us. If only we had one now, a unifier. A voice like that, there would be no dissension. Learn our ways before you presume to save us from ourselves. But don't look to me, I will not be a tutor to a surfacer. As you say. It is the Assembly who makes a king, and a king who nominates his successor. None of it is carried in the blood. Or, as now, when someone tries using the Assembly to pull a coup. Who's to say what my father said in his final hours, when the usurper Harrowmont was the only one by his side? I'll have you thrown in prison. You've bitten off more than you can chew! Handlers, separate these dashers in the Diamond Quarter. I will not have Balin incite a riot. You not speak that way about the man who should be king! Vieta, surfacer. I'm bid to let you walk the commons, but keep your place. Warden or not, I want order. Surface problems. Well, we have no king to hear you. You can join the shouting at the assembly in the Diamond Quarter if you want. Bunch of Desher lords bickering over sand. Balin, Harrowmont. Is one so different? No paragons here. Surfacers appoint no paragons? Truly, you're lost in all that sky. They are the best of us, declared living ancestors. If you must be our warden, at least know us. Go to the Shaper of Memories in the Shaperit, the true bright spot in the Diamond Quarter. 
See, that's why I don't want you surfacers seeing our worst. You'll think that's all we are. The market is thin, but busy, and the tavern never closes. Bad blood is usually kept to the proving. Should toss Balin and Harrowmont in there, sort this all out in a hurry. Personal battles for honor and ancestor. I don't expect a surfacer to understand. If you must be our warden, at least know us. Go to the Shaper of Memories in the Shaperit, the true bright spot in the Diamond Quarter. They've caged themselves for fear of each other. As you've seen, keeping order down among us working people is dodgy. No place for a proper lord. Valen speaks through his second, Vartag Gavorn in the Assembly. Lord Harrowmont speaks through Doolin Ferender from his estate. Yes, you should. So this is Ozama. It's huge. It's big. Lava bad. Don't go near the lava. Did you see that? I cannot believe what this city has come to. This would never have happened when Endrin was alive. Aye. What a terrible burden for a father to have only Balin left of three fine sons. In the end, Endrin himself recognized that Balin cared for nothing but power. It was Endrin who ordered his son away from his deathbed and embraced Lord Harrowmont as his heir. Lord Harrowmont should be our king. He was King Endrin's closest advisor, the only one he could trust. Endrin himself, ancestors welcome him, asked the Assembly to endorse Harrowmont. He is a good man and a skilled general. King Endrin trusted him with his life, and I will do no less. Everybody knows he killed his brother Tree and let his father's favorite son take the blame. And many question whether Endrin died abed, as we were told, or whether Balin helped him along. Only as a potential match for one of his sons, he was a good king, stern and fair and just. He died in bed after his eldest son was murdered and the Assembly condemned his second son for it. I cannot blame him for preferring to join the Ancestors in eternal peace, if Balin didn't murder him himself. I am Narav Helmi, third daughter of the second matron of House Helmi. And you, stranger? What brings you to Orzammar at such a time? A Grey Warden? That explains why they allowed you past the gates. What kind of aid do you mean? A Blight? Now? But our warriors are killing each other in the streets! I'm sorry, stranger. I fear there will be no aid for you in Orzammar. If you seek Lord Harrowmont's support, I suggest you talk with his trusted advisor, Doolin Ferender. He might be able to get you an audience. I should have stuck to common nugs. I've gone and lost them too. I'll never find them the way they skitter. Common nugs? I don't like those. They look dirty. No way I'm going back to that supplier in Dust Town. <sighs> Guess I'm shutting it down. I've got to boil them before roasting, but otherwise, no, safe as sand. Some people swear they make good pets. May as well leash a turnip, I say. Good on you, stranger. Only need one to turn this around. Uh, excuse me, I, um, do you have a moment? Greetings, and welcome to Garen Garenson's Luxury Goods Shop. Wow, there are a lot of you. And I've never seen one of those before. The things they come up with. What was I saying? Oh, I, I, I was hoping you wouldn't notice. Most people don't anymore. Or maybe they're too polite to mention it. 
I had a little incident a few years back. Uh, too much time with the raw lyrium ore, you know. <laughs> Maybe it was a bad vein. I, uh, I cut myself and the dust got straight in the blood. Since then, it's been a little hard for me to concentrate. Except when forging, then I'm straight as an arrow. Best work I've ever seen. L -l -l Look around the shop. See for yourself. I, of course we are. Weak surfacers like you touch the raw ore, and you'll bleed from your eyeballs in hours. Weird seeing how big you are. Even surface dwarves lose it. Us down here, though, we should be able to handle it just fine. Only not too much, and not every day, and not breathing the dust, and not directing the blood. Ancestors own bad luck. Well, it's the lyrium, you know. Raw blood of the earth. It's more alive than you and me. M -m -m Most of the time, that's no problem. When it's all bundled up in a piece of steel, it'll leave you alone. But handling the ore directly, so sometimes you get burned. It's not just your skin it takes off. It'll burn directly into your m mind. Right. Best in the trade, you know. I worked the ore m myself. <laughs> Have you seen my lunch? It, it's a piece of lichen bread with a spread of old cheese and shredded dried meat. I, I'm, I'm only asking because you never know who's going to get hungry. Right. Best in the trade, you know. I've worked the ore myself. <laughs> to find someone who really knows the surface world. I, I don't suppose you've heard of something called the Circle? Then I'm truly honored. I've never met an actual mage. Is it true you can manipulate nature's forces with your mind? Like you were born with lyrium in your veins? I can't even imagine. trying to reach someone there for years. I've sent missives with every caravan, but I never get a reply. I want to know if they would accept me for study. I want to go to the circle to study. I don't want to do magic. No dwarf can cast spells, but I don't see why I shouldn't study it. It would be a valuable exchange. Orzammar would learn of one of the great natural forces of the surface. 
and the circle gains direct access to our knowledge of lyrium smithing. That would be wonderful. My name is Dagna, daughter of Janar of the Smithcast. Tell them I've already begun reading the Taventer Imperiums for Tikum Kadab, and it's just fascinating. Did you know the Imperial Magister Lords once had genealogies of every human family known to produce a mage child? She's so enthusiastic and adorable. I'm glad we're helping her. <gasps> oh, I'll go pack my bags right now. I'll be waiting by my father's shop. At least there are no pigeons here. Hey, what's down there? The deep roads are home to the Darkspawn now. Oddly, they're supposed to be safer to travel during the flight. <coughs> As you say. Go on, I'm out of the nug game. Got nothing to sell. Saraka, I'm back in the game. Such as it is. I don't have much besides gratitude, but find a bunch more of these and I'll toss you whatever I found. When you were standing there at that time... I shall do it. Sleep. I have no need to sleep. My body does not tire or do oof, other flesh-related functions. But don't you get bored? Wouldn't you want to dream at least? I do not dream. This is what it does when it sleeps. It pours its nose and mumbles incoherently. Yes, of course. I thought we all... Huh. You watch me? I watch all closely when they are still at night. There is little else to do. For hours and hours? I count the breaths. It helps to overcome the overwhelming urge to crush their faces while they sleep. Well, I won't be doing much of that anymore. I'm sorry. Did you have an offering for the ancestors? Although, I can't imagine your ancestors reside in the stone. My name is Vilda, widow of Turok of the Smith Cast. I pray here every day for my son, Ruck. I only wish I knew whether I should be asking for his safe return or for the ancestors to accept his soul. It was five years ago. He was only a youngster. He joined a Deep Roads excursion, the only smith to go with the warriors to repair their arms. He was so proud, but he got separated somehow. When they came home, he wasn't with them. The captains don't want to lose anyone searching for stray men. Too many were taken by Dark Spawn that way. How? There is no way except to brave the deep roads yourself. A warden? So you could do it. Only wardens face the deep roads without a company packing them. Oh, thank you. The ancestors finally heed my prayers. Please, find me as soon as you return. Welcome, traveler. 
You look like you'd appreciate a chance to browse some good Orzammar steel. Aye, they say King Endrin named an heir on his deathbed, but the Deshers are too busy fighting for power. They say Lord Harriman's a strict disciplinarian, but a good and fair man. He's always paid on time, 10% up front. I met him once. Didn't even mind talking with one of the merchant cast. But when he left, I saw him slap around his second. If he wasn't Prince, he'd be the kind of man I wouldn't want my daughter marrying. That's a broad question. If it's gossip and ale you want, Tapsters is just east of here. If you want more action, check out the provings. I heard there's a memorial tournament for King Endrin this afternoon. Best fighters in Orzammar. I hope you find something to your liking. Whatever it is. What is that spell? Dwarven vomit. Charming. I hope that is someone being murdered and not simply singing. Maker's blessing on you, sister. I'm Brother Burkle of the Red Cliff Chantry. Return to my ancestors' land to spread the chant of light. I'm petitioning to open a chantry in Orzammar. There is... resistance. It's obvious the world wasn't created by the mortal souls who dwelt within it. Yet the dwarves of Orzammar persist in worshipping their own forefathers. The Shaper it controls changes in Orzammar's structure and society. I need the Shaper of Memory's permission to open a prayer meeting. Oh, I'd hoped you'd say that. I can see the Maker's hand on your shoulder, guiding you always. If this chantry could help just one person as much as it helped me, it's worth any trouble. Please, let me know as soon as you've heard anything. Topsiders? Good. Get some outside gold in here. Calm people down. Make them think we should open the gates for good. The more cracks in the old way, the better. That's what Balin stands for. Not your business, but I see where the gold is. He's the traditional pick, yet he wants a new way, whether some like it or not. Just as many say Harrowmont. 
Neither are paragons, and the scales being equal, I go with the promise of more trade. Can't find ore without splitting some stone. My investments are solid, I'll be fine. The assembly has done us a favor. They've shown just how loose the sand is under our feet. It opens people to change. Orzammar will decide what we can or can't be. Blight may be imminent on the surface, but our warriors are well seasoned against dark spawn. There will be topsiders left for trade. There's no end to you. I'll take your gold. You're good for that. Indeed. Oh, how dear of you. Thank you so much. Centuries of memories you have lost. Does it miss being within its mother's womb? Do I... Well, no. I don't remember that far back. It is no different. My memory stretches only so far, and what went before is now lost. And you remember nothing at all? Not even a little bit? There are images. Faces who I have no names for. Places I remember being, but not where they are. Do I miss these things? They are without context. I feel only disquiet when I think of them. Red, how did you get in here? When you awake, all the details have fled. Is that what it is to dream? Then yes, For the perhaps it is like sake? that. These are not how your sad. ancestors. To discover you your entire life has been a forgotten dream. Get back I am to so sorry. You belong, Brand, or I'll throw you into the deep roads as a snack for the stalkers. No. <laughs> No, no, don't hurt me! I just wanted some food. You're the best wrangler. You're the best wrangler. I. 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 I trust Valor, my nug. Wrangling friend.
Midget lives here, I'll wager. So the closer you live to the surface, the higher class you are. Unless you're actually on the surface. From what I've heard of Dwarven politics, I'm almost surprised we haven't seen blood running these streets. Lord Balin considering a dissolution of the ancient clans. He refuses to comment in the assembly. I heard there was a Grey Warden here. I am Doolin Forender, second to Lord Harrowmont, King Endrin's own choice as successor. Word is spreading that the surface may suffer a blight. It is shameful we are not in a better position to help. That may be, and that is a terrible risk for the surface. But even if the world would end tomorrow, Lord Harrowmont cannot ignore Balin today. He cannot afford to trust anyone of unproven loyalties. That's a generous offer. If you mean it, you might attend the proving today. The Deshers take it very seriously. And unfortunately, Balin found some way to blackmail or intimidate House Harrowmont's best fighters into stepping down. The proving is a contest of the best warriors in Orzammar. By fighting, they show who has the ancestors' favor. If you were to enter the proving as Lord Harrowmont's champion, it would prove your loyalty beyond a doubt. Balin would never work with anyone who humiliated him in that way. Harrowmont would have no fear of meeting with you then. Excellent. The arena is located off the commons. Talk to the Proving Master and tell him you're entering Lord Harrowmont's roster. The key fighters we lost were Guidon and Beisel. You can look for them in the fighters' preparation chambers behind the ring. And be sure it's before the fights begin. After the first bout, no one may change the roster. If you need to find me again, I will wait in the Tapster's Tavern, off the Commons. There is no better place to hear gossip. Perhaps even word of your victory. So tell me something, do you feel pain when you get hit in combat? This is when it squeals loudly and spurts blood about. This is when it feels pain. Uh, maybe. I've seen you take some bad hits. Don't you feel anything? Anger, rage even, perhaps a little distress. Is this pain? I'm not sure. I don't think I call it distress exactly. It's more... For me, it is more... That sounds more like a bowel movement. I mean that sharp, stabbing... Like that? No, nothing like that. No? Huh. Good to know. It shall be done. Allow me. I could do that for you. Allow me. I could do that for you. You must be under great strain with the blight upon the land. I will pray to the stone for you.
Lord Haramont, said to have kicked Castlas in the street. Does he respect none beneath his station? It is begun. I could do that for you. I'll do it. I shall do it. As you say, strange things. I shall do it. It shall be done.
it is begun. Warden William, it is always a blessing for Orzammar to host your order. I am Vartag Gavorn, top advisor to our good Prince Balin. What news do you bring? Yes, the treaty. I've seen it in the Shaper's libraries. Now the difficulty is that the treaty only compels our king, and we are sadly lacking one of those right now. My prince is the rightful king, but a disappointing number of lords back the upstart Haramond for the throne. If you show your support for Prince Balin, he might be able to assist with your requests. That hurts worst of all. That Haramond would take advantage of the dying king's delirium to plant such poisonous suspicions against his own son. After that, you understand why Balin cannot trust the word of a stranger. However reputable that stranger might be. Would you be willing to prove that? Haramont has engaged in a campaign of bribery and coercion to ensure that every house serves him. But if a neutral party, a stranger, were to approach certain key members, perhaps with irrefutable evidence of Haramont's deception, I'm certain my Lord Prince would show his gratitude. Haramond promised the same portion of his estate to two different Deshers, Lady Dace and Lord Helmy. Haramond can't possibly grant it to both of them, but they won't find out until after the vote is cast. I have copies of the promissory notes Haramond gave each of them. Once they see those, they should both reconsider their votes. Don't expect this offer to last. If my prince hears you swore allegiance to his enemy, he won't be so friendly next time. I will be here if you change your mind. The assembly is in session. Enter quietly if you wish to observe. Your mind has gone to dust if you think we would pass such a writ. Half our houses would go broke without the surface trade. The proposal is only effective until we have a king to ensure we are respected by the surfacers. Leaving you conveniently positioned to take over all contracts. I'll see your head on a pike first. Deshers, lords and ladies of the assembly. I've already doubled the guard to prevent violence. Must I summon more? Steward Bandalore, Balin's sympathizers are tying our hands with trivialities. They may as well open us to the sky. I suggest we put the matter to a vote. And I suggest you have a taste of my family's mace. Enough. The assembly is in recess until the members can regain control of their emotions. Stone forsaken fools and dusters. I'm sorry. This is the assembly of the clans. Only dashers and occasional guests of state are allowed in. Forgive me. I am so exhausted. I completely forgot about the message from the gate guard. Welcome to Orzama, Warden. I hope you can forgive our unrest. The loss of our king has hit us hard. Respect for your role is great, but you won't receive a proper hearing until we have a king on the throne. troubling, but it will still seem distant compared to the empty throne. The assembly is blind to all else. This is their world, and it ended when Endrin died. I must admit, Warden, I am at a loss myself. It lies with Prince Balin or Lord Harrowmont, and they are slow to trust anyone in these uncertain times. I only wish there was more I could do for you. Very well.
Why does the bard stare at me so? I was thinking of writing a song about you. The statue with a heart of gold. Or something like that. It thinks my heart is made of gold. It is stone as anything else. Cold stone. I meant that you had a good heart. It seems to me that you do. And they call this having a heart of gold. Why? Um, because gold is precious and shiny and, and a good heart is just as valuable. Shiny. In a matter of speaking. My heart does not qualify as shiny. I kill, frequently, and not without pleasure. You have had a difficult life. Deep down at the center of your being, you are a good person. I believe that. Even though I have never demonstrated this aspect? How peculiar. You aren't all stone shell. There is a person inside of you. If so, it is because I ate him. Thief! Who would dare take from the memories? Gordon, I'm outraged. A thief in the Shapred. What have we been reduced to? I did. He was bald, with the most garish brand across his head. Almost like he took pride in being castless. Imagine! Ah, he's probably in the slum somewhere. As if he'd find a buyer for a stolen tome in Dust Town. They couldn't know the value. Oh, um, pardon me. Were you looking for a particular volume? Not that I could really help. I, um, don't know the libraries very well. I'm just doing some research. I was looking for something about the Orton Taig. It was lost during the Last Blight, and there aren't many records left. They were a noble house once, descended from the Paragon Orton, who composed the grand epic of the Seven Brothers and the Ortonic Symphony. My mother's family believes they were descended from Kalana Orton, who was training in Orzammar when the Taig fell. I'm even named for the house, Orta. Unfortunately, any records would be buried in the Taig's ruins, somewhere in the deep roads. A Grey Warden? Mother always said that if anyone could find the Taig, it was the Wardens. I hear Prince Balin and Lord Harrimont have both been sending out small teams these days. Yes, if you can find the Taig in any records, that could do it. That could prove I'm a noble. If you could. Maybe now that you're looking. It's almost too much to hope. Very well. It is begun. As you say. Shall be done. I could do that for you. When I last walked this hall, Endrin was king and Orzammar was at peace. The memories often speak of the swiftness with which change overtakes us. But it is different to see it firsthand. I apologize, Warden. I should not burden a stranger with such thoughts. I am Zebor, the Shaper of Memories. The Grey Warden's visit has been recorded in the memories, along with all who accompany you. Ask, and I shall do my best to answer.
All dwarves who die return to the stone as ancestors, to guide their families forever. But only one every few generations rises to Paragon. A Paragon is a dwarf whose accomplishments change Orzammar so much that the assembly recognizes they've been born blessed. They are venerated as living ancestors and found a new noble house forever bearing their name. There is one Paragon of this generation, a woman named Branca. She was born a smith, but her inventions caught the assembly's eye. Before she had seen twenty years, she created a smokeless coal. It could burn in a cave without vents and no one would choke from it. It earned her Paragon status. She went into the deep roads two years ago seeking out secrets of the ancient smiths. She never returned. We were a great empire once, outnumbering even humans and elves. We traded with your Tevinter Imperium, and our land stretched as far in the deep roads as theirs did above. Cal Chirac was capital then, but we lost too many battles. We lost our golems, and we lost our territory. Now the Empire is simply ruined tunnels filled with darkspawn. At the other side of the old Empire, during the last blight, the kings of Orzammar knew they couldn't hold everything. They sealed the deep roads, abandoning everyone still trapped in far-flung settlements. It was the only way to survive. Cal Chirac is the only other city to outlast the blight. We only rediscovered them recently, and they still haven't forgiven us. They were once our highways beneath the mountains. Now the Darkspawn claim them and few venture there, except your order, who enter the deep roads when they retire, so they can die slaughtering as many Darkspawn as possible. The Paragon Caradon, a smith of unsurpassed genius, invented the Golems. For years they were our weapon against the Darkspawn. One Golem is worth a dozen dwarves in battle. But Caradon's Taig is far into the deep roads. When it fell, we lost his secret to creating golems. There are books about it along these walls, if you would read more. Yes. We have only a few dozen left in Orzammar, and I do not recognize this one. Where did you find it? Every golem is precious to us. We'd pay a good sum for a new find. I'd sooner jump into a pit of lava. Unfortunate. Was there anything else? I must tell the rest of the Shaperit about this discovery. Please, speak your mind. That is an odd request, especially for one so new to our city. I thought so. This is not the first time he's made this plea. My answer to Brother Burkle hasn't changed. So I ask you the same. On what basis would you have me insult the Ancestors, and overturn two thousand years of tradition? He seems a charitable man, but that is a thin thread on which to tie Orzammar's traditions. Very well, he may hold a prayer meeting as he requested, if not build a new temple to his god. At least the words would come from one of our own. Now is there anything more? I will record this conversation in the memories. I hope I do not come to regret it. your voice in favor of Lord Balan. He will bring us change. Questions arise regarding Lord Balan's marriage to a Catholic summoner. Two years tomorrow. By all the holy sodding ancestors, how can you people just ignore that? Vranka didn't go alone, Ogren. She took the whole house, everybody but you. So just get over to Tapsters and drown yourself already. You know as well as I do, that's how this always ends. 
You think I'm afraid of some cub warrior who's barely off the teach? Ha! <laughs> I'll... You lift a weapon or attack a single citizen in Orzammar, and you're stripped of your caste and exiled. Even you can't have forgotten that. Get out of here before I call a guardsman. Can you believe it? Ogren's barely even warrior cast anymore, and he just clomps in here like he's entitled. Ogren's a drunken wretch. He comes up here two, three times a week, hounding people to lead some suicidal rescue mission after Bronca. Gets quite violent about it. I'd be scared if they hadn't practically gelded him after he killed young Lord Mino. Well, he killed Lord Mino's youngest son in a duel to first blood. It was a huge scandal. Ogren should have been executed, but he'd won honors in the deep roads. Instead, they stripped him of all weapons and forbid him from engaging in fights within city limits. If he breaks the decree, he'll be exiled. It's been two years since Bronca left. No one has ever stayed in the deep roads that long and survived. The search teams who went out found nothing, but Ogren wants to keep risking lives searching. <sighs> She's still his wife, isn't she? Even if she took their entire house into the deep roads and abandoned him. It's been two years since Bronca left. No one has ever stayed in the deep roads that long and survived. The search teams who went out found nothing, but Ogren wants to keep risking lives searching. If you see any guardsmen, tell them Ogren was at it again. <laughs>